So do you want to start with your name and where you're from? Yeah, uh, Chad Kelly and from Newcastle. And what brings you down here to training today? Uh, doing the mowing division. Uh, Join the, the franchise and um, basically looking for a new career change. And why did you pick James Mowing or decide on that one for you? Um, I think the, the, the name said it all. Um, also got a couple of people who I know doing the gyms and they're highly recommended as well. So um, yeah, thought I'd give it a go. And what's the reason for you doing a franchise? What, what's your previous employment? Yeah, so I've been working for about 25 years. Um, basically, 18, 19 years was project management and then went into production managing, um, looking after staff and so forth. But it got to the point where um, my anxiety sort of took over, wasn't enjoying work whatsoever. Um, dealing with people is a bit of a... Uh, and coaching, mentoring people sort of got to a point where it wasn't, um, wasn't fun anymore. Um, there was times there where I, I couldn't get out of bed there before Easter mm. and basically decided I needed a change, uh, come back to work after Easter and decided that, um, yeah, it's not for me. So decided to look into the franchise and joined up. And mentally, how have you found yourself making that decision? It's really passionate to us at the gyms group is mental health aspect. So once you made that decision to go, right, I'm doing it, how is your overall mental well-being? Because it can be quite daunting to leave that to go into this, but how have you found it so yeah, far? 100%. Um, I was on a good wage when I, when I left. Um, and basically, I'd done two days out in the job training. Um, I rang my wife on the way home and I was on speakerphone. My son was in the background. And um, I'd have a habit when i come home from work... He knew that what type of day I'd had by the attitude I had, and, and that affected my family life, my wife, my two kids. Um, but when I went out for two days in the field, um, I was on speakerphone, talking to my wife, and my son was in the background. He heard what I had to say, and he had a smile from ear to ear. So it really, um, to me, that's number one priority, my family life. Yeah. Yep. Well, that, that's a really relatable thing to a lot of people, but you've taken action, which is fantastic. So on that trial day you went out, what was it that sold you about the trial day? Uh, just the variety of work we can do. Um, the amount of work and obviously the amount of money is a, is a bonus as well. Um, for me, it's not all about the money. To me, it's more about the flexibility around my kids' lives, um, sporting events, um, going to watch them play soccer, sport, you know, whatever. Um, but also to I enjoy my fishing as well so if there's a day there that I need to take, a, take off for whatever reason I just know I've got to work a little bit harder um, but the flexibility is the main thing and the kids yeah. and, and how have you found the training experience so far? Outstanding um, this is day three and it's been outstanding I can't fault it um, we're just talking there before about the food the food's exceptional the people the franchisees that we're meeting down here is great uh, the networking side of things um, and all the um, all the talks, all the, the seminar talk is all the people just want to help, and it's outstanding. There's nothing hidden. Absolutely. And um, before we let you go, because it is very cold out here, I've got the big jacket on. Unfortunately, I should be giving you my jacket. But you mentioned to me that your son's actually a really good futsal player. So maybe you want to pump up what your what your son is doing and where you're actually going. Yeah. So I started my whole plan with this gyms was basically to to start in about September. Um, so he made the Australian futsal team. Uh, he's only 11, so under 10s, under 11s he's playing for. And he made, like I said, he made the Australian futsal team. And he will go over to, or we will go over to Fiji in uh, mid-July for about two and a half weeks, um, which is really exciting for me and the family. Um, my whole reasoning, or my whole plan was to um, hand me resignation in, in June, give him four weeks notice, um, come down, go away to Fiji, and then basically come back in uh, early August um, and start the training and the course. But I couldn't wait that long. Um, I had to get out of the work environment that I was in, and um, yeah, looking forward to Fiji in what's that, six, six, seven weeks. Good luck to your son, and, how's, and also just before you end up, how's your franchise all been during the process? A lot, of people not a, a lot of people aren't familiar with the franchise all being the person who basically assists you and guides you into your own business, so how's your franchise all been? Ah, great. He's uh, contacted me regularly, uh, chased me up for information that I may not have handed in on time or whatever else, but uh, Paul's been really good. Um, any questions I had needed to ask, he's got back to me with, with the answers um, and been very supportive and honest. Yeah, it's been great. That's awesome. Well, good luck to your son and we hope you hope have a good win at the tournament. No worries. Thank you.